Hey, I'm Adam Jusko and this is Adam Answers where we answer the burning and not so burning questions of the day. In this video, how do you file a dispute with Chase if there is a problem with something you purchased with a Chase credit card? That's what we're going to look at, but first I'm going to ask you to please subscribe to this YouTube channel if you have not already and if you have already, I thank you for doing so. So we are going to go to the desktop and kind of walk you through the process of disputing a transaction. Now, if you want to file that dispute online, obviously the first thing to do is log into your Chase account. When you do, you are going to see a list of your cards. I'm doing this on the desktop, but the mobile app will work pretty much the same way. So anyway, you find your card. If you have more than one card, you're going to have to find the uh, card from Chase. Otherwise, it'll just be the one card. Click on your account. The way to do that is to click on the thing that says credit card with your account number, at least on the desktop. And when you do, that's going to bring up the window that shows you more details about your uh, recent transactions, your activity since last statement, and activity since last statement. So, assuming that the uh, charge that you want to dispute is on that activity since last statement, you can go ahead and uh, you know look at each one of the things and then click on the uh, arrow at the end of the transaction and that's going to give you more details about that transaction. So when you click on that, that's going to pop up a little more detail. It's going to show you the sale. It's going to show you who it was. And then underneath, you're going to see something that says dispute transaction. And when you click on dispute transaction, you will then get a new window that says what doesn't look right about this transaction and then you are going to answer this these questions it says i'm still being charged for a product or service or i was incorrectly charged for a product or a purchase that i made so this could be overcharges or multiple charges maybe you didn't get something or you had a membership and you're trying to stop it and they won't stop it so you want to choose which one of those let's assume that we uh you know, got a product and we were overcharged for it. We'll click on that one. I was incorrectly charged for a purchase I made. And then you would say, uh, next, I was charged a higher amount than expected or the same card was charged more than once or my card was charged even though I used cash or a different card. Let's say that I was charged a higher amount than expected. Then it's going to tell you, ask, what was the amount I expected to be charged? And let's say, uh, I don't know, I expected to be charged $15, right? Then I would click next. And then it's going to say, does everything look okay? You can still make changes on previous pages. So you can go back and make a change. Now I'm not actually going to submit this dispute because otherwise I'd actually be disputing something that I don't want to dispute. But then you can then hit the submit dispute button and then that will take you to a page that basically is going to tell you that you know Chase will follow up on this. All right, and once you have filed that dispute, obviously Chase is going to have to do some work on their end to try to contact the merchant and see what the situation is usually the credit card company is going to try to be on your side but that is not guaranteed and it's going to take some time so you can check the status of your dispute by going again online go into your account and choose the card and on the uh, desktop at least there's these three little dots and you can click on those dots and when you do another uh, window is going to pop up and account services is, is one of the choices underneath that window so you are going to click on account services and then you're going to see underneath that what pops up is verify cards replace a lost or damaged card and it's actually a little difficult to uh, do this on the desktop but if you can get down that list you will go all the way to the bottom and what you're going to see is track disputes and that's what you want is track disputes so you go down there you click track disputes and it's going to show you the disputes that you have and what the status is of them. Now, I don't have any uh, open disputes, so I don't actually have anything to show you, but there will be those disputes and you'll see kind of where things are. And then if you're on your phone using the app, you would have a similar situation. You would go in, find your card and click on it. And when you did, you would see your most recent activity. You'd click on that particular transaction in order to get to a page that would give you, uh, or get the screen that would give you some more detail. Scroll down on that screen and you would see the button that says dispute transaction. And when you click that button, you're going to get the same uh, sort of thing that I just showed you on the desktop and so in terms of all those different 
questions. And then if you wanted to check the status of that dispute on mobile, you would go back to the sort of main account page for that particular credit card and scroll down and down there you would see account services. You won't initially see that dispute, uh, track dispute on there, but if you click show more, then it will show you the track disputes as the last selection. You click on track disputes and then obviously that would allow you to see what you uh, had there in terms of your disputes. So that is it. One final note, if you possibly can work out the dispute with the merchant because it will be done faster if you possibly can have that happen instead of having Chase or any other bank that you might have a credit card with have to go through the process of figuring out what has gone on up to that point. So better if you and the merchant can work it out. And then number two is you don't want to go to Chase or any other credit card company too fast on a dispute because if you get in a habit where you have multiple disputes over time, your credit card company might start looking at you as the problem instead of the merchant. And maybe they won't be as likely to help you out when you have a real problem. So work very hard to get things uh, worked out with that merchant before you go to Chase or anybody else to dispute a transaction. That's it. Questions, comments, put them in the comment section. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and we'll talk to you again soon.